what are the do's and don'ts of the, uh, the code of ethics and which part of the code of ethics has been flouted? Well, uh, the Code of Actors is uh, my institute that Ghana is to procurement and supply, and uh, he is a senior member. Okay. So when we were launching, he did the launching for us. When you look at um, Code Number Thirteen, it talks of of our Code of Actors. It talks about conflict of interest, and um, if the there's time you permit me to read what is in there. That is where what we saw mimics. We can now, is going through investigation, so I believe no individual or an institution can make a conclusive statement that he's breached or he's aired okay. unless we finish the investigation. But it mimics conflict of interest, and it says that everybody should be responsible once you have a capacity and you have to exercise duty of care in identifying, assessing, and managing possible conflict of interest, whether actual or issues which could be viewed as conflict. Okay. That may arise in my daily working life, rejecting any business practices which might reasonably be deemed improper. Okay. Then from there, another one says, never using my authority okay. or position for financial gain. Mm. It goes further, declaring my uh, personal interest to my employer, also making sure that the information that you give during your work shouldn't be misleading, and also always have to be fair and transparent and be truthful about your skill, experience, and qualification and all. So what we saw mimics this, a breach of this. Okay. But however, like... So it states clearly that there shouldn't be a situation of conflict of yes. interest. Yes. So when it is there, or there will be something that even if you are right, mm. you are right, you've mm. recused yourself, you've mm. done what you're supposed to do, mm. uh, still it can be stretched in okay. an argument. Mm. So when you are in a position of authority, you need to be guided. However, looking at what we saw, let us, uh, the institute we've come up, uh, we are writing to him, we'll give him a time to meet our um, ethics and professional standard committee. Okay, you haven't done that yet? No, yet, because mm -hmm. a letter, I know a letter has been signed, mm -hmm. it will be sent to him. It's been maybe. almost a week since the... Thing or documentary it was came, We got it on Thursday, and okay. Thursday evening we issued our statement. Okay. And we had this Friday. Mm. Remember, yesterday was Monday, and uh, okay. I know the letter is ready mm. and it's going to go. When and are you in, in going our constitution? To... The, the, the member need to have at least uh, a framework of about 14 days. That is after he's received the received letter. When is he receiving appear. the letter? Hopefully, by tomorrow, he'll. he'll receive it. Okay. So from there we we'll start counting the 14 days days mm. for him to appear. Then from there we are also writing to Manasse to get a copy of the documentary of the documentary because we cannot just pick what is on the net. We need to make everything. Then from there we they will call him or he will come mm. because we need to give him the opportunity okay. to respond. Okay. to the issues found in the video. Mm. But for all you know, he's not the one. Let's put it that way. Okay. So after, we will also come out with our findings as our constitution prescribes.